Hey guys, my name is Shai and this is a pick a card reading that is intended to help you figure out if you are actually vibrating in alignment with what you want, right? I'm going to do two different things with each one of these cards. First, I will give you a quick yes or no based on the card, but the yes or no is meant to answer the question, are you vibrating in alignment with what you want? To give you just a quick idea. And then based on whatever cards are here, I haven't looked at them yet. I don't know what they are. I don't know what everybody is attracting. We're going to go into more detail, um, figuring out what it is that your vibration is attracting. <sighs> I have found that it is incredibly useful to notice whether I am actually vibrating in alignment with what I want because often I am trying to attract something into my life, right? I'm trying to use the law of attraction and bring something into my life and manifest something, but I have found out that I am often not actually vibrating in alignment with the thing I am trying to manifest and I am actually vibrating in resistance or I am vibrating in the opposite way. So I'm not actually bringing in what I want. I'm bringing in the opposite of what I want, right? So I will give you a minute to look at your cards and the timestamps for every card will be down in the description box and I'll see you in your reading. Okay, card number one. Are you vibrating in alignment with what you want? Let's find out. Okay, Knight of Wands. Yes. Yes, you are. You are already on point. Your passion is on point. You are more to the point. You are vibrating with passion, right? The Knight of Wands goes out into the world bringing passion and going out to get what you desire. So this is almost... Uh, you guys are kind of going one step above and beyond the law of attraction. You're not just waiting around um, passively inviting in and attracting in you, the thing that you want. You're going out to get it. You are going out to get it. This is absolutely an action-oriented energy. And this is something you're really working on in conjunction with your higher self. You can see you got one person here standing there with their staff, right? And over here, it's the same person, but up on a hill standing there with their staff. This is you and your higher self are, <laughs> your higher self is feeding you the alignment, has been feeding you the signs and synchronicities and the passion and the energy. And you are basically tuned into source energy and it is flowing through you. And you are clicked in to the grounded steps. Really, you guys are in a fantastic place to be. This is where everybody wants to be. <laughs> Essentially, the Knight of Wands is a, an amazing card for like law of attraction, manifestation work, all of that. Because it's like you have already figured out the balance between the energy work and then the grounded action. You know, you already are vibrating in alignment with it and now you're taking the grounded steps to actually manifest it, right? Um, To me, this feels, for most of you, the thing that you're manifesting, kind of whether you know it or not, is like a career upgrade. You know, if this is like small business, what this has been making me think of for the most part, small business, going to business for yourself or travel, like this is something going out and doing something, Entre entrepreneurship or travel, going out into the world, going out into the world. It could be other things for some of you, but this is very much going out and getting it, going out and doing it. So if you are looking for money, looking for a new job, or looking to create a new source of income from it for yourself, this is all, <laughs> you will find it out there in the world because you have already aligned with it inside of yourself. So you guys are, you got nothing to worry about. Just stay the course, keep doing what you're doing, follow your passion, follow your passion, because your passion is taking you to where you want to go, absolutely. <laughs> Everybody wants to be pile one. That was fantastic. <laughs> okay, card number two. Are you manifesting in alignment with what you want? Or are you manifesting? Are you vibrating in alignment with what you want to manifest? Okay, well, see, as I had already tripped over my tongue and said, are you manifesting <laughs> before I even flip the card up? You got the magician. This is the master manifester, the master manifester. 
you have all of the elements within you. So yes, yes, you are absolutely vibrating in alignment with what you want. Um, and more to the point, you have leveled this up to where you're at the center of a vortex. Okay, you guys are at the center of a manifestational vortex is what I'm seeing. You're standing there and it's like you're in the eye of the hurricane and the hurricane is blowing around like all of these things, right? All of these things that you want. This is like manifesting the life of your dreams. Manifesting the life of, life of your dreams. It's because the, the magician works with all four elements, right? Works with fire, works with earth, works with water, works with air, works with all of it. That is literally everything. So <laughs> you guys are manifesting the life of your dreams because you have all of your bases covered. You guys have realized that you are, that you can have your cake and eat it too, that you can have it all. Um, you know, a lot of time people say that you can have everything but not all at once. You guys are like, bullshit, okay? I can have everything all at once uh, because I am an extension of source energy and I can have everything that I want and I can have everything that I want and everyone else can have everything that they want. This is <laughs> this is amazing. I, I am so impressed that this card came out. You are the magician manifesting everything that your hearts desire and, and it's like for the good of y you, for your dream life, but it's like your dream life actually helps others create their dream life, right? That you have really transcended this, l the scarcity mindset that is so common on earth where we think, you know, humans tend to think if we have money, then we're taking money away from someone else. Or if I have happiness, then that somehow is taking away from other people's happiness. You're like, no, the more I thrive, the more everyone else thrives, right? The more money and wealth I generate for, the, for myself, the more that will help others generate wealth, both from the physical way of, you know, you spend money and it goes back onto the economy, but also energetically speaking, you understand that when you have a better life, you, you raise your own frequency and therefore you help everyone else, energetically speaking, raise their frequency because we're all connected and you're raising the frequency of the grid of consciousness on earth. So you guys are the magician and make no mistake, the more you guys thrive, the more you help others thrive. You, you are, <laughs> your life, living your dream life is, I would go so far as to say, is an act of spiritual service because the more you thrive, the more everyone else can thrive. You're showing the way to a thriving life, right? There are definitely others watching you, whether you know it or not, right? This could be people out, you know, if you're out in the public eye in any kind of way on social media, any kind of way, they're watching you and understand, like using you as an inspiration. You're an example to them about how to live a more fulfilling, like successful life, right? Um, also, just people that you know, um, maybe they're secretly kind of jealous of how you've been able to manifest things and how things suddenly start working out for you. Um, but I think you you guys don't need to worry about that because you, even though sometimes you might feel kind of bad, right? But you know that there's nothing more you can do to help them, right? The best thing you can do to help them is to just keep thriving, just keep shining your light. And eventually it's their responsibility to go through their own processes, go through their own journey, and they will get up to speed and eventually also become a magician just like you. So you guys have it all. You guys can do it all. Whatever it is that you're manifesting or like wondering if you are manifesting, you're manifesting it. You got the magician. That is the master manifester. So yes, 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 fantastic. Just keep rocking, guys. You don't need any of my advice. <laughs> okay, card number three. Are you guys vibrating in alignment with what you want? Queen of Wands. <laughs> okay, absolutely yes. This is incredible. Um... You are drawing everything to you, okay? It's funny, I was thinking about the Queen of Wands just this morning, because the Queen of Wands is magnetic, okay? She is magnetic. She doesn't need to do anything. She can literally just sit on her throne. You know, I can see you guys sitting on a beach, on a lawn chair on a beach, with somebody bringing you pina coladas and someone else, like, rubbing sunscreen on you, okay? <laughs> It's like you 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 know that you could sit on your butt and not do anything and have everything brought to you and you do this with your magnetism. Okay, you do this with your magnetism. You guys are specifically, this is manifesting luxury, okay? You're manifesting luxury in your life. I feel like some of you, if you are like getting sick of cleaning the house, 
it's like hire someone to clean the house. If <laughs> I like, I don't, I'm getting such a clear feeling of like, you guys don't want to do the housework, right? And you don't want to do your taxes. So for you guys, hire someone to do that, right? You shouldn't have to be doing that kind of stuff. And maybe some of you feel a little bit guilty about that. You feel like, well, you know, I, I can easily just clean my house. I just don't feel like doing it. Or I could easily do my taxes. I just don't feel like doing it. But it's like, you're the queen of wands. You shouldn't have to do that kind of stuff, right? And think about it. If you can pay someone else to do these things, then you're providing them an income and you can of course pay them well, you can tip them well, you can pay them well, right? <laughs> and that will be good for them in, in their journey. And that also really, really fine tunes your vibration, right? If you don't wanna do something and you could easily just outsource it, like the queen of wands, she's, she's like an outsourcer, right? She attracts everything that she wants and she outsources everything she doesn't want. So especially any of you in small business or like, you know, self-employed, outsource the things you don't wanna do. If you feel like they still need to be done, outsource them and only do the things you wanna do because then you're fine tuning your vibration and you're only focusing on the things that matter to you. You only focus on the things that raise your vibration, right? You don't need to clog your vibration down by doing all these things you, you think you have to do. You know, maybe your mother would look down on you for hiring someone to clean your house, right? Because maybe your mother would think that, you know, people should clean their own houses, right? <laughs> but it's like, who, who cares? Hire someone to clean your house. Hire someone to do your laundry. Hire someone to come pick up after your dog, right? You can pay people to do this. You can pay a kid down the street to mow your lawn. You don't need to do this yourself. You're the queen of wands. And in fact, the more you focus on what you desire, the more you focus on what you want to magnetize to you, the easier it will be for you to outsource all these things you don't want. And you'll be like, why did I ever bother doing all of these things, right? Queen of wands, absolute sovereignty, absolute life of luxury, right? She is the most luxurious queen, in my opinion. Um, I can see you guys like sitting in a salon, getting your hair done, getting your nails done. Even if maybe you don't typically do that kind of thing, maybe you don't usually go to a spa, right? But this is like, if you have a sneaking suspicion or a, a sneaking curiosity to like go have a spa day for yourself, <laughs> go do it because these things, when you splurge on yourself, you raise your vibration and it gets easier for you to manifest. You guys are giving, if you're, it's like you're manifesting luxury, but at the same time, luxury helps you manifest, right? Luxury helps you manifest because then it puts you into this nice, clean, finely tuned vibrational state where you can attract and magnetize more of what you want to you. And yeah, you, you guys are killing it. <laughs> You can have everything that you desire. Continue to focus on what you desire and the things that you don't want to do, outsource them. Queen of Wands. Okay, card number four. Are you vibrating in alignment with what you want? Nine of Wands, okay. Um, I got to say no on this one for your quick no. Currently, you are not vibrating in alignment with what you want. I mean, you're very close to it. There's just resistance here, okay? The nine of wands is this resistance energy and that's fine. Don't panic. That doesn't mean that you can't get what you want. It doesn't mean that you can't shift your vibration. In fact, you can shift your vibration literally right now. By the time you click off this video, you can shift your vibration, okay? This is just letting you know that there has been something you guys have been trying to manifest for a very long time and it hasn't come through yet and you're frustrated and you're tired. And sometimes you might even shake your fist at the heavens going like, why? Why, why is my partner still not here? Why is my money still not here? Why is my sovereignty and my freedom still not here? Why why, 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 right? Nine of Wands is tired. It is exhausted. It is frustrated energy. So this is difficult. And um, I mean, it's not, it's not difficult. It's, uh, how do I want to say this? It, the solution here to shifting your vibration is not complex, but it requires a like a level of trust that might be challenging for you to dredge up. Okay, this is the energy of don't give up before the miracle. Don't give up before you reach the finish line. You're so close to the finish line. Guys, with the nine of wands, it's the nine, right? It's almost the 10. You're almost there. You're so close. You're like 90% of the way. It's just don't give up. Don't give up before the finish line. Because if you give up, 
then then you've given up, right? If you've given up, if you give up, then you've given up. If you were running a race, okay, if you were running a race, would you stop running the race like 50 meters before the finish line? Imagine you just ran a marathon. You wouldn't just like sit down 50 meters before the finish line, right? That's the thing. You watch people run marathons, they collapse when they hit the finish line, right? It's, rarely do they collapse two feet before the finish line. They collapse when they hit the finish line. So that's 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 this kind of energy, right? Don't give up, don't give up, don't give up. You're almost there, you're so close. And, but this feeling of frustration and fatigue, the frustration specifically, the frustration, that is the resistance, okay? It's like you're frustrated because you're not manifesting the thing, but you're not manifesting the thing because you're frustrated. It's the frustration that is actually blocking you from your manifestation because, um, Frustration is a resistant energy, right? It, it's almost impossible to receive something when you're frustrated because it closes up your vibration. It closes up your fists, right? When you're frustrated, what does your body do? It clenches up. Your muscles clench. You, you get frustrated. You want to punch walls and stuff, right? You're very, it's very closed off. So it's literally impossible for the universe to give you anything when you're frustrated because you're clenched up, right? You're clenched up. And there is a... an idea, like a feeling, there's a frequency buried somewhere in your subconscious. You feel like if you just get frustrated enough that then the universe will give it to you because you're so frustrated. But the universe isn't going to give you anything when you're frustrated because it can't, right? The universe is not trying to be cruel to you and it is not holding out on you. The universe desperately wants you to receive what you desire. It wants to give you what you desire. It's holding it out right now, trying to give it to you. But the, the frustration is a resistant energy and it can't give it to you. So the trick here is to, you gotta relax. <laughs> okay, you guys need to relax. Do whatever you need to do to relax. If you can, I know how hard it is. Like guys, I've been in this frustration energy like so much, right? If you watch my videos, you, you hear, you've heard me talk about this a lot. I have a personal experience with this, so I know how hard this can be. Um, do whatever you need to do to drop out of your frustration, right? Getting rid of the frustration should be the single most prioritized thing in terms of your energy work right now. And the funny thing is it's like, if you try hard to, to work on dropping out of your frustration, that's gonna make you not drop out of your frustration. It's almost like, stop thinking about it. Stop thinking about it. Go meditate, go drink a beer and eat a pizza and watch some Netflix, right? Like go for a walk, get outside, go pet your cat, do something that entirely distracts you. You need to just drop out of it. It's almost that energy, you know, I said like, don't give up before the miracle, but it's almost like, don't give up, but do surrender, right? Don't give up, but do surrender. Surrender all of this. Surrender this to whatever higher power you can tune into, whatever power, higher power you believe in. Surrender to the universe. Surrender to the flow of your life. Surrender to the river, right? Imagine your life is like you're going down the river, you're in the rapids, and you just have to surrender to it. The more you can surrender, the more you will be flexible and the more you will be able to ride the rapids with, with pleasure, right? Ride the rapids with pleasure. So yeah, do your self care, do things that find that bring you joy. Try to stop focusing on the problem because for you guys, the more you focus on the problem, the more you focus on the thing you don't have, the more you focus on how long you've been struggling, right? You just keep manifesting more of that, right? If you focus on the, on lack, if you focus on the problem, then you're creating more of lack and more problems. So you need to focus on what you want in order to get what you want. And that feeling of frustration is just going to continuously blocking you from getting what you want. So if you have to, just completely stop thinking about it. Like if you're trying to get money, stop thinking about money. If you're trying to get a relationship, stop thinking about your relationship. Stop thinking about how lonely you are. Stop thinking about why nobody loves you. Just stop, 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 stop. You need to think about something else entirely. So like distraction, I think honestly, is the best way for you guys to go because I think you've been trying too hard. You've been thinking too much. You need to relax, like relax your mind, relax your body, relax your emotions and just take a break, like take a break from everything. And you don't need to be able to go on a vacation in order to do that. You can do that inside your house, wherever you live, just chill out, <laughs> needs to relax. As soon as you relax, then the frustration feeling will shift out. And then everything that you desire will start flowing to you because you will be in an open, relaxed state. So 
I could keep talking about that forever, but <laughs> I'm gonna have to leave you guys there. So sending you so much love and light. Card number five. Okay, so I was gonna say, are you guys vibrating in alignment with what you want? Um, nine of swords, that's a no. <laughs> That's a no with the Nine of Swords. The Nine of Swords is, you guys are thinking way too much, okay? Your thoughts um, are, your thoughts are controlling your vibration right now, right? Your thoughts are running the show and your thoughts are not meant to run the show. Your thoughts are meant to be a tool that you use when thoughts are like a useful tool, right? It's like you wanna, when, when do you want to use your mind? When do you want to use your thoughts? It's like when you're doing your taxes or when you're doing your math homework, when you're trying to like do, I mean, like the example I'm getting is like when you're baking and you're trying to like figure out the fractions to figure out how much of whatever to put in your in your pie, right? It's like there are is there is a time and a place to use your mind and to use your logical thoughts and all of that, but you, your guys's your thoughts are like they're they have taken over. Your thoughts have taken over you, and this is specifically specifically like your fears. And I I think for some of you this has grown even into paranoia. The nine of swords can be really intense, um, paranoia and fears and anxieties just steamrolling all over the place. So um, I would like to take just a second to acknowledge that some of you probably have some very serious concerns in your life, right? That's why you're having this nine of swords, this anxiety, right? Probably worrying about money, worrying about your like life situation, right? You have something very serious to worry about. Um, but the worry is never going to fix the problem. The worry is never going to allow you to manifest what you want. The, the worry is completely blocking you from getting what you want, right? I have been there so much, guys. I have been there, I have been there. I talk about this so much in my videos, right? Where, um, you know, I want to manifest money and then I'm just panicking, worrying about money, worrying about money. And then of course I can't get more money that way because I'm so worried about money. So if you're worried about money, you gotta stop worrying about money. And that is when the money begins to flow. Worry blocks the flow, okay? Worry blocks the flow. Fear, anxiety, racing thoughts, all of this blocks the flow. So you guys need to find a way to drop out of your mind, to drop out of your mental body. Meditation, highly recommend. <laughs> um, but if you don't like to meditate, right, it doesn't need to be meditation. Anything can help you. Anything that helps you shift out of your thoughts and into your senses, specifically into your physical senses, right, is going to help a lot. Like doing something physical, doing any kind of like exercise or outdoor activity that you like, that even if it's just like sitting on a park bench, looking at the river or something, right? You need to get in tune with your physical senses and drop out of your mind. Get into your physical reality because you guys are out of your body. And when you're because you're up in your head, right? You're up in your mind, your thoughts are racing, you're worried, you're anxious, you're panicking. And I feel like some of you are like repeatedly reaching for clarity. You're going like, I, I need answers, I need answers, I need answers, I need a solution, I need this, I need that. The more you do that, the the more you push away the answers and clarity, right? The answers and clarity can't come to you if you're panicking, if you're panicking. I can even imagine somebody with this energy um, like pulling out a deck of cards for themselves, right? And repeatedly like flipping cards, flipping cards, flipping cards, looking for answers, and then maybe asking a bunch, of, or maybe some people are asking all of their friends, what do you think, what do you think, what should I do, what should I do? And then maybe even like getting a bunch of readings from people and stuff like that. And all of this is just, you're just looping and looping and looping and looping and looping and looping. And it, you're never gonna, you, that's not the way to find clarity, right? That is not the way to find clarity. The clarity can't come to you in that state of mind because you're like a little cyclone spinning around, spinning around, spinning around. And clarity can't come to you like that. You need to find that place of stillness. So what makes you feel calm? What makes you feel relaxed? What makes you, what allows you to find stillness, right? Go for a drive, like if, if if driving, I know some people, for some people, driving helps them clear their head, right? They go take a drive down by the beach or something and it clears their head. So just do something that clears your head. Do something that helps you find stillness because you need to find that place of stillness, find that place of your mind. Like that, right? Silence. Your mind needs to come into silence. 
I, you, you see, like, I just keep looping with my hands, right? That, that's what's happening. So <sighs> know that you absolutely can shift out of this energy. This is not a curse. This is not forever. Whatever, even whatever serious situation is happening in your life, it is all temporary. And the moment that you can find a little bit of clarity, like a little bit of stillness, a little bit of stillness, when you let your mind relax, when you let your thoughts fade away, every nanosecond that you can find of stillness is a victory. And then you just build on that. You go, okay, I found one second of stillness. That's a success. I'm proud of myself. Then you build. Can I get 30 seconds of stillness in my mind, right? Then you build from there until one, you know, one day maybe you can find stillness for 15 minutes in meditation and then you build and build and build. And the more stillness you find, then that from the place of stillness is where you can allow your vibration to come forth because the way I'm actually seeing this is it's like your thoughts are squashing your vibration your thoughts are squashing you your thoughts are attacking you they're keeping you down so it's like your vibration is in there your the pure vibration of your soul is in there but it's been drowned out by your own thoughts so absolutely do whatever you need to do to find stillness in your mind and from there then anything is possible, right? Anything is possible after that. I know in your guys' future, you absolutely break through this. This is, the Nine of Swords is always a temporary energy, okay? No one is in the Nine of Swords forever. It's always temporary. I can promise you this is temporary. You will come out of this and you will bust free. You will bust free of all these shackles of your mind and from there you will manifest whatever it is that you desire. Okay, card number five. Are you manifesting? <laughs> Are you vibrating in alignment with what you want? Five of cups. And you know what? Did you see how the screen like flared all bright white when I picked this up? That was very interesting. It very much distracted me. This is interesting. This, I'm not sure. Okay, so I mean, the, if you're just here for the quick yes or no, the answer is no, not right this second, but you have enormous potential to shift this very quickly. And I mean like shift this right now. Okay, because there's more, there's more going on here than you think. <sighs> I feel like, some of you have recently had some kind of disappointment or maybe you're just not feeling super great right now at the time you click this video, right? But this is like a, a, a feeling of something being cleared, a feeling of something being washed away. This, this thing I'm doing with my hands, it's like something is being cleared, something is being washed, something is flowing away. And look at this card. You guys are about to go through this portal, okay? These cups taking you through a portal. One cup is knocked over, there's four more cups leading you up to this. You're going, and, and it's a beach over there, right? You're going through the portal. You're shifting your vibration into something new. So that's why this this, this one is hard to give a specific yes or no, because it's like, okay, at like right this second, you're not exactly vibrating in alignment with what, with what you want, but you're on the path. You are absolutely on the path. And it was almost like you had to get you had to vibrate off course. You had to take a little detour in order to learn something, in order to retrieve something, or in order to let something go, right? In order to let something go. It was like something needed to happen on this little detour and then you're just gonna get back on track. So you guys are just on a little detour, okay? But you're absolutely, like today, tomorrow, this week, very soon, you're going through the portal and then you're gonna be, I mean, you've been on track this whole time. It was just that you took a detour, okay? So you might feel like there was some kind of disappointment or some kind of loss um, or some distraction that you had to go handle, but it was just a detour. You're gonna be back on track. It's like you were driving down the freeway, driving down the freeway, and then like you took an exit and then you ended up like farting around in suburbia for a while and then you got back on, and then you got back on the freeway at the next, 
on ramp, right? It was just, you took this weird little detour, okay? But there was purpose in the detour. So that's why it's like, well, you were in the detour, your vibration got weird, your vibration got off, but that's not even a problem. It's not a concern. You didn't do anything wrong. You didn't make a mistake. Nothing has gone wrong. Everything is perfect. There was purpose to your detour and you're gonna be getting back on the freeway and you're gonna be like charging all steam ahead and this is gonna be good. And you're gonna understand why you went on that detour. So really, even though the, you know, the quick answer was a no, you, you guys, you are actually going to manifest what you want. You are actually going to be getting back on track. It was just this weird little blip, weird little detour, weird little blip. And honestly, I don't even feel like you guys need any advice. It's just keep, uh, keep putting one foot in front of the other. You're doing everything right. You're right on track. Just keep driving, right? Just get back on the freeway. <laughs> That's the best metaphor I've got for this. Just get back on the freeway. It, it it's going to be fine. You're really walking the right path. Um, some, somebody, if you like had to, if you made some kind of investment and you know, the financial investment is the easiest metaphor, but you could of course relate to this if some other type of investment, you know, if you made a big investment and then like maybe you invested in like cryptocurrency and then cryptocurrency like crashed, right? Maybe it went down, maybe it had a dip. Um, and you're now you're like wondering like, oh my God, did I make a massive mistake? <laughs> Hang in there, right? Anything that has a dip, like especially with crypto or like whatever you invested in, it's like there's a dip, but then it comes back up, right? So you guys definitely, your your advice is this is a long-term thing, right? You're on the freeway and you only get on the freeway to go on a long-term journey. So keep your eye on the horizon. Keep your eye on the long-term picture. Don't worry about the little detour, right? When you're on a road trip on the freeway, you don't worry about the little detours you make. You just, you just keep thinking about where you're going. You're going to get there. You're going to get there. Just keep track of the long-term picture. Don't worry about the detour. You guys are going to get there. You're going to get back on track. You don't even need any advice about how to get your vibration back in alignment with what you want. It's going to snap back into place naturally once you're back on the freeway and you're going to get back on the freeway. Just follow your GPS, right? Follow your inner guidance system to get back on the freeway. You're going to be fine. It's going to be fine. Everything's going to work out on the long term. You're going to get there. Okay, card number seven. Are you vibrating in alignment with what you want? <laughs> that card flew right out of my hand. Okay, 10 of pentacles, absolutely yes. <laughs> absolutely yes, and what do you guys want? You guys want money. <laughs> you guys want money, and you want money that is, um, it's like money and career and fame for some of you, like recognition and success, okay? This is money and career stuff. Ten of Pentacles. And really, I feel like you guys, you are succeeding in this and you're vibrating in alignment with this because you want to share your wealth with others, right? You want to have wealth, not just for the hell of it, but you want to have wealth so that you can have a create a better life for your family, right? If you're trying to buy a house, okay, anyone who's trying to buy property, the Ten of Pentacles is like so well aspected for that, okay? You are, you are absolutely vibrating in alignment with buying your property or buying your car. Anybody trying to make a big purchase? Absolutely yes, okay? <laughs> this is so good. And I, I feel just like the key here to like, how to put it, to fine tuning your vibration so that you can continue to amp this up and you can continue to stay in vibrational alignment with this is remember that the 10 of pentacles is a card for the community. It is a card for the group, right? The nine of pentacles would be the one that's just all about you. This is whatever you're, whatever you're trying to manifest some way, somehow is connected to a group. It could be your family. It could be you and your partner, right? It could be your family. It could be your community. It could be the whole planet, like whatever your group is. Um, Keep in mind how it will be beneficial and helpful to others. And this doesn't mean, this is not like a, a like a sacrificial thing. This is not like, a, oh, you know, you can only have it because you're going to give it away to others. This doesn't mean you win the lottery and then you have to give all your money away to charity. None of that. It's just, it's like get connected with your why. Get connected with your why. Why do you want this? You know, if you're sitting around 
going, um, I want a nice big fancy house. Why do you want a nice big fancy house? Um, okay, so you want it for all of your personal reasons, right? Um, also, you know, maybe it'll be really good for your dog to have his own backyard, fenced in backyard, and then your dog can have a dog door, stuff like that. Maybe your kids can go outside and play. You know, maybe, you know, you and your partner can have barbecues for your friends and stuff like that. It's like, get connected to your why. The why here is gonna help you and your why connects you to the bigger picture and this is like, I, I'm saying this from a purely energetic perspective. It's not about actually like having to do any of these things. It's that connecting to your why, connecting to the bigger picture why helps you fine tune your vibration, helps you get more in alignment with it because it is easier to attract something if you understand why you're trying to attract it, right? Um, and, it, and if you have like a, a whole big, beautiful network of reasons for why you want to attract this thing, then it's easier to be in alignment with it. So yeah, your guys' money, your career success, your house, your car, um, w whatever like material thing, like the Ten of Pentacles is very, very material, right? So any material thing, any anything to do with money, finances, and making a big impact in your community, very, very well aspected. Just remember uh, to keep your why in mind. Why do you want to attract this? Why do you want to manifest it? Because the universe wants you to like... Understand that whatever it is that you're getting, there is a beautiful, a beautiful, beautiful purpose to it, right? And it's like appreciate the purpose and it will slip into your reality even sooner than it will. But Ten of Pentacles is like, it, it, this is fantastic. You guys have every reason to be like excited and <laughs> hopeful and joyful that you're on the right track and that your vibration is already very beautifully in alignment with what you're trying to manifest. Okay, card number eight. <laughs> the Empress. Okay, yes, you guys are absolutely vibrating in alignment with what you desire. Okay, the Empress. This is very spiritual to me. The other cards um, have been pretty um, like mundane, pretty um, human-based life. This Empress is blending spirituality with the physical, right? Blending the transcendent with the imminent. You are the connection between, like the connection point. You are the connection point between physical and non-physical. Very interesting. I feel like you guys are trying to manifest something like spiritual in nature that probably has a way of reflecting in your physical reality, right? Like if you're trying to manifest a like a healing ability, right? If you're learning to do Reiki or reading cards or reading astrology, something, something it's like you want to have a spiritually based business or something like that. And it, it's like your, the spirituality, the energy, like the spirituality of it goes really hand in hand with the physical manifestation of it, because that is what the Empress is, right? She is the connection the, like the embodied connection point between physical and non-physical. She channels the, the, she channels source energy. She channels source energy. She channels source energy down into the earth. And then all of the flowers spring up all around her. Okay. This is very, very spiritual. It's like, you know, the pillar of creation. You're channeling all this source energy straight down into your crown chakra and straight down into the, through your body and into the core of the earth. And it's all rippling out around you. You guys are, um, whether you know it or not, what you're trying to manifest is a ripple effect um, in humanity, right? You're, you're trying to create a ripple effect. You're grounding love and light into the earth and creating that ripple effect. So you guys are shifting consciousness, whether you know it or not, right? Um, I feel for a lot of you guys, you often find yourself like, you know, you look out at the world and you see a problem and then you kind of think like, well, why don't they just do this? <laughs> it would be so much easier if they just did this. That would be the simple solution to the problem. And then sometimes bam, suddenly you see that, wow, they actually came to their senses and they're actually impl implementing that. It's like you're dreaming up, in some cases, even dreaming up policy decisions or dreaming up, um, sometimes it would even be corporations like making these changes, right? It's like, keep dreaming. Um, you might wonder, so I think you guys, you, you want to make a big impact on the planet and you might wonder sometimes, how are you gonna do it, right? How are you gonna save the world? How are you gonna solve this problem? Um, how are you gonna do this? And honestly, guys, you don't actually need to 
really do anything, you're already doing it by doing your light work, by doing your inner work, by dreaming the big dream. Like you guys are blueprinters, okay? You're blueprinters, you're... I know sometimes I might feel like when you're sitting around at home thinking about how to solve all the problems in the world and you're like all these, you're channeling, you're channeling, you're divinely inspired, you're coming up with all of these amazing ideas, right? And you think like, ah, like how am I gonna go out there and clean up the ocean, for example, right? How are you gonna go out there and clean up the ocean? Well, you know, you pulled down the idea, you pulled down the inspiration, and then you're sending the inspiration out into the world, and somebody else is picking up on it. Somebody else is picking up on it. You brought the idea down. You brought the blueprint down. So I think the only like piece of advice for you guys is don't actually put so much pressure on yourself to do things. You will know, you will know down into your bones when there is a, a grounded action for you to follow, because it won't, it will, like, sometimes you might feel like, oh, I should go do this thing because it would be good for the planet or good for society or good for somebody else or whatever, but you will, there's a big difference between doing something because you feel like you should, because you feel like you're guilty if you don't do it, or because you feel like somebody has to do it, or it feels like, oh, that's a, that, that's a problem and I should just go fix it. Those are not, um, you can feel those feelings, right? All of those feelings, all of those thoughts, oh, I should go do this. How can I fix this problem? How am I going to save the world? That's like, there's something off about that vibration, right? It, that is um, a kind of resistant vibration. It is kind of like cringy and like a little bit antagonistic, right? There's something a little bit off about the vibration. So you will know when a grounded action is aligned for you because it will be overwhelmingly inspired over and you'll feel over overwhelmingly passionate it will just be something that happens naturally you'll just flow into it right like one day you'll just suddenly like sit down and like start your business right and it'll just like start flowing you in it'll be something that you think about consistently um there's two ways it can go right you could get the inspiration and you could start doing it immediately um because like if you're like you know like an Aries or something Aries people tend to take action like immediately other people you know Capricorn will tend to sit on an idea and think about it for maybe an entire year before they start to implement it so it's not really the speed but it's the feeling right some of you could do it right away some of you could sit on it and implement it for um implement it after sitting on it for a while it doesn't matter about the speed it's that that passion and the flow and it just feels so right right and when you have grounded action to take it will be completely abs, like all of those feelings of I should do it or I'm guilty if I don't do it, those feelings won't be involved, right? You won't be doing the grounded action from a place of should. You'll be doing it from a place of I was born to do this. This feels amazing. This feels amazing. This feels perfect. I'm so inspired to do that. So to only take grounded action when you feel that kind of like undeniable, unmistakable inspiration. And if you're not feeling the undeniable, unmistakable inspiration to do something, to, do, to take some kind of grounded action, then don't worry about it. You're already doing what you're supposed to be doing. You know, if you just sat around in your apartment dreaming up blueprints for society for the rest of your life, then that is exactly what you're supposed to be doing, right? Don't force yourself to do anything. There is nothing you should be doing. You don't need to save the world. The world, the world is taking care of itself. You are doing exactly what you are meant to be doing by being here, by channeling source energy, by just dreaming the dream of the good life, right? And everything will naturally and organically fall into place. So just allow everything to naturally and organically fall into place. There is no should. There is no should. You think the Empress feels that she like should be doing anything? No, she knows that her greatest purpose is to receive cosmic energy and flow it down through her into the earth. And she is a channel, right? She is a channel of source energy and everything else takes care of itself. So that is the end of this reading. I'm sending you all so much love and light. Take care. Bye.